On Tuesday, Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt, members of cabinet and other government officials convened at the State House Conference Room and received an update on the progress of plans for an international airport for Dominica. During the meeting, Donald McPhail, who is Director General of the Eastern Caribbean Civil Aviation Authority, provided insight into the development plans. Also in attendance was His Excellency Charles Savre, President of the Commonwealth of Dominica. The high-profile meeting took place on the heels of the Prime Minister and Minister for Finance's presentation of the 2017-2018 National Budget. During the presentation of the budget, the Prime Minister had indicated that plans are moving along and funds will be set aside for the construction of the International Airport. We have moved forward with plans for the development of an International Airport. More details of the selected site are ongoing. Note, Madam Speaker, an airport development fund has been established as of May 2017 and has been capitalized with U.S. $10 million from the Citizenship by Investment Program. And government has taken the decision that an amount of U.S. $5 million will, will be paid into, the, into that fund on a monthly basis. And meantime, work will continue to improve the existing airport structure, said Skerritt. The journey of transformation, not just economically, but aesthetically. Major aspects of the rehabilitation of the Douglas Charles Airport, with significantly enhanced safety and security features, have been completed. These include, these include the completion of the apron and runway rehabilitation, extension of the river wall, reinforcements of abutments of the bridge, improved drainage along the runway, rehabilitation of the terminal and installation of new security and baggage handling equipment. Additional works are required and are in progress, including the regrassing and beautification of the airport grounds, further reinforcement of the river berm, and crossing at the eastern end of the runway. And a member of the opposition United Workers' Party, Isaac Baptist, countered by arguing that funding is uncertain and air access to the current airport should be improved. We're talking about $5 million per annum, US dollars per annum in a special fund, $60 million, $100 per month, sorry, yeah, 60, 60, 12, 12, 6, 12, 5, 60, 60 million US, yeah, 60 million US, 160 million EC per, per annum. Madam Speaker, a couple months before the 2014 elections, there was a news item, $1.3 billion for MOU sign for a airport, new, new airport and hotels in Dominica. Prime Minister, fake news. Fake news. Even the Chinese in the government of China had to, had to put out a disclaimer. Fake news. Now you are being, you're telling us that you are going to use CBI money, CBI money that is deep in. Look at the statistics given to us by the Prime Minister at the last sitting of the House. You can see the drop. And no Prime Minister Skerritt noted that very soon the government will invite a wide cross-section of the population to provide an update and also stressed that for the project to be successful, it will require everyone's cooperation.